Hi, this is Fred again. I'm going to talk about some basic setup of the Glentech RTE, both the serial and the CIV versions. This video is about how to hook up your RTE device. If you want to review advanced features or other features of this card, see our other YouTube videos or visit the Glentech site. The basic setup is quite simple. This is a diagram for setups for RS-232 controlled radios. These include Kenwood, Electcraft, Yesu, and others. Basically, this setup is quite simple. You just attach the radio via an RS-232 serial cable to the RTE, and using an, R using an Ethernet cable, you would attach to your local router. You also have to supply plus 18 to plus 8 volts DC. For ICOM radios, the setup is very sim similar except that you use the 1 8 inch CIV style cable. This is a cable that uh, you can readily use and find at Radio Shack stores. Uh, basically you can use either the uh, stereo or the monaural styles. Again, just connect to the router, connect to the radio and 18 volts, so 12 to 18 volts, and you have a connection. No PC is required, and in the case of the CIV controller, you don't need a CIV adapter because it's already built in. Now, for remote computer setup, first set it up on your local area network, your LAN, and plug the uh, the computer it doesn't necessarily have to be the computer you're going to be using, but it helps. Um, and connect it to the uh, to the router either via direct cable or via a, uh, a wireless connection. Then install the Glentech redirector software that comes packaged with your RTE. When you do that, the task is to identify the local IP address that's been assigned by your router. This typically is something like 192.168.1.xxx and you need to write this down because you'll be using it in some of the next steps. Then we want to create a new COM port. We call this a virtual COM port because it's not associated with any physical connector. But Nonetheless, you'll have a choice of 256 COM ports minus any COM ports that you have already set up in the computer. Be sure to set up a new COM port here because sometimes you get unpredictable results if you use existing COM ports. You want to point that COM port. When anything tries to access that COM port, you want it to send it to the RTE over the internet or the local LAN. So what you need to do is you need to set up the redirect to send requests for this COM port access off to the RTE rather than to some physical connector. And when you do that, you need to, lo you need to direct your rig control software to that new COM port. So, for example, if you're using HRD, you want to send HRD to your new COM port, say COM port 21, and have it connect then. Basically, what we're doing is we're fooling the HRD software into thinking that it's connected to a hardwired COM port when it's re in reality it's going to the Internet. It's not going to know the difference. Now, when you're done with all of that and you have it working on your LAN, you're going to want to have internet access. So it's a little bit more complicated because the routers are different. But basically what you want to do is you want to use port forwarding in your router. And to do that you need to access your router menu. So forward a port called a TCP port. Requests that come in on for port 3001 access, you should forward this to the local LAN IP address in port 3001, which is the RTE. Now, the next step would be to identify what your public IP address is. 
Now the public IP address is assigned by your service provider, your ISP if you will, and you need to have that uh, in order to connect to your home land. Now if you don't know what that is, it's very simple to do. Just uh, log on to ipchicken.com and it'll display your, your public IP address prominently as soon as you log on. Now when you access from outside of your LAN, you want to direct your virtual COM port to the public address rather than the local LAN IP address as you did before. And that's all there is to it. Happy remoting. Again, for additional and advanced feature details, see our other YouTube videos or visit the Blendtec website at http www.blendtecorp.com or for some more information at http www.k9so.net Happy remoting.